Right now, Patrick is with us with an update. We've got some rain to talk about potentially overnight into tomorrow, right? That's exactly right. Uh, could see that coming up uh, after about two or three o'clock in the morning. I'll get to that in just a minute, but we have a new uh, uh, statistic as far as Laura. It is now the fifth strongest storm at landfall, not in the Gulf of Mexico, but at landfall. Uh, with the as far as winds at 150 miles an hour. That's number five behind, of course, Camille, Andrew, Michael and the Labor Day storm of 1935. And of course, I've showed this to you several times, but it does appear that uh, over towards Orange and Port Arthur gust at or above hurricane force or near hurricane force across uh, that part of the uh, triangle. 54 was the last report we got from Orange, but we feel pretty sure and confident that uh, they did indeed see wind speeds above hurricane force. So that's the exact track. It did not move across uh, the lakes area. However, I'm going to show you the wind field. This area right here is where I think that hurricane force winds occurred just around the eye. But you're talking about a very narrow band, not what we normally see with a Cat 4 uh, near a Cat 5. Look at this. The winds in that may have only been 10 miles wide as far as hurricane force. Of course, they were blowing at 150 miles an hour, and that's one of the reasons I don't think we saw what we were expecting as far as storm surge. Rainfall this round ranged from almost nothing in western Hardin County to as much as 6, 7, 8, maybe 10 inches over towards southwestern Louisiana near where the eye moved ashore. Otherwise, current temperatures are near 80 outside, and here's futurecast. It does show showers and storms developing after about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, could be a wet start to the day uh, as we finish out this week. We'll talk more about what we can expect for the rest of tomorrow in just a few minutes.